what is up people how's it going this is Bharat and welcome back to yet another video so in this video i'm going to be continuing on the kiwi lang and teaching you guys few other things that is possible through the kiwi garden library so for this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to create a qr code scanner and we're going to be doing that under eight to ten minutes of time nothing complex and i'll also be scanning a simple qr code and showing you guys how to read the text from that so that's going to be the agenda for this video let's get this video started all right, as I say always, you got to have a couple of things installed in your system. One is going to be your pip, uh, your Python, followed by you obviously have to have the Kiwi also installed in your system. For this one to work, we're going to be doing two more installs. The first one is going to be installing the uh, ZBar uh, library. So basically, ZBar is going to be a basic uh, collection of binaries that is going to be involving your QR code reader, your camera uh, opener on all of those things. And followed by that, on top of that, you're going to be using the Kiwi Garden uh, zbar cam so using the zbar cam you can read a qr code and convert that to text so these are going to be the two things that you're going to install and the first thing you're going to do is obviously use your uh, uh, the uh, terminal to install your uh, uh, zbar so i use the brew install uh, zbar because that is taking care of all of those things for me and i'm also on the mac environment here if you guys are in say ubuntu or windows you can directly do pip install zbar and it should work for you so let's continue finish this installation it's going to take some time and i think i already have the uh, installation completed so this is going to work fine for me so if it's if it's a new installation for you it's going to definitely take a lot of time so pause here uh, finish the installation and come back all right let's see that it's complete installation it says that uh, zbar is already satisfied for me so i'm going to be continuing on and installing my next second uh, pip install which is going to be pip install uh, zbar cam so before that you also have to have the uh, kiwi garden installed uh, if you don't have the kiwi garden installed this will automatically take care of doing that so you don't, don't have to worry this zbar cam will in, uh, in turn install few other things like pillow and it also install the z camera and all of these are pretty complex and big libraries so definitely this is also going to take a lot of time so finish uh, installing all of that and continue watching here so i think it's completed installation for me and i'm going to be continuing on here creating my first python file i'll call this uh, probably qr code uh, app or something like that okay i'll call this qr code app and let's get this thing uh, rolling so basically what i want to do is to if you're following me from the previous video first thing i'm going to be importing is you think is going to be the kiwi uh, dot app i'll import the app and you're going to be starting from that that's true this is going to be the first import and all right so i'm going to be doing the first import from here and followed by that i'm also going to be doing the kiwi dot uh, lang because i'm going to be writing everything in the kiwi lang instead of wasting time and building things uh, using the uh, python itself because it's going to be very very easy for us let's go and construct the template i'll construct the template as a qr code app and we'll inherit the app itself and let's do the dev build here let me just pass it for now and we'll do a main and we're going to just say qr code app dot run all right let's format the file so that it doesn't look super ugly all right so you have the dev build here and i'm going to be using the uh directly going to go use the builder i'll just say builder dot i'll say builder dot load string and i'm going to be calling my string here so let's write the string and the string is going to be first of all importing our basic uh we're going to be importing the zbar cam right so we're going to be using this uh the kv notation of import zbar cam from kiwi garden dot uh zbar cam and it's going to be z uh, bar okay yeah. all right so this is going to be import that i'm going to be using and you guys have to do the same as well if you're going to be using or importing the zbar cam in your python you just have to do this is equivalent to this one here so you just say kiwi garden dot zbar cam and you will say zbar cam import so this this line is equivalent to this line here all right so let's remove from here we don't have to have two imports unnecessarily and this kv lang will automatically take care of the building and doing all the stuff all right so let's go and have a box layout for us for this example let's do a box layout off and inside the box layout i'm going to be setting the orientation to vertical you can do the same as well and now inside that i'm going to be uh, in initializing or instantiating my zbar cam uh, object or this one is going to be let's call this id as uh, qr code cam and this zbar cam will automatically take care of loading your uh your you opening your camera to view your qr code 
and also take care of all the uh, required steps to convert the QR code. All right, so you have the instantiated Z bar cam, given it an ID as well. Now we need to show it, right? We can either print it and uh, it's going to be simple from here, just going to print it. But for this example, let's put a label here and we'll just print this uh, or whatever data we're getting into this label. So what you're going to do for that is going to set the size hint first. Let's set the size hint as none comma none so that doesn't take so much time uh, so much of your space next is going to be self cut texture of uh, what i'm of zero so what exactly am i doing with a self dot texture size of zero or texture size so if you when you are inst in, uh, instantiating your um so what am I doing exactly here? The size is going to be, so I'm saying texture size of zero followed by 50, meaning that I'm initializing this one to the labels texture size or whatever the text is going to be, just do not go over the board, just set it to whatever text is going to be with a size of that, it's zero followed by 50. So maximum of 50 in times of the height, right? The width is going to be whatever is going to be present and I'm just going to be fi uh, fixing my text to that size. So that's going to be the whole meaning of texture size. This one is equal to saying label instantiating a label and using the label dot texture size so if you print that you'll know for sure that the label texture size is going to be whatever text it's going to take so that's going to be the whole uh, need for setting it here now we obviously need to set the text here right so i'm going to, I'm going to say next is going to be probably uh, i'm just saying i'm I'll do short annotation here, do the join off because this QR code is now going to give us something called as symbols. So the QR code has a, a, a tuple called as a symbol and the tuple has a the QR code cam here, which is going to be the uh, ID that you have set for the Z bar cam, is going to have a tuple that is going to have a variable called as uh, symbols. The symbol is going to have a lot of data that's going to be present, which you're going to convert and put it right here. So what I'm exactly I've been doing here, I'm just going to say uh, for the symbol in uh, the our QR code uh, cam dot symbol. So I'm just iterating through everything here. So obviously this is going to be a simple notation that we can use. Just do for every symbol in symbols, I just say str of symbol. So which means that I'm going to be getting every symbol, joining it, and I'm going to put it back as text. So that's going to be the whole meaning of this. So it's going to be every symbol is going to be every single text. I'm pulling it all out and I'm just going to put it right into this and I'm going to just do an str of and put it as the text. So basically this is going to be the entire code just about I would say 10 lines, I would say less than 10 lines and our uh, builder is completed. Now this example is the same one that is also present as part of the uh, the uh, the github example as well there are a few things that doesn't work one thing is that if you are in your python uh, or your kiwi 2.00 the that is something called a symbol that is being present or instantiated with z bar cam itself that thing does not work the comp the meaning uh, the reason behind is that for our uh, the the Mac system here, the symbols are not recognized. So I have removed that. If you remove that, what is going to be the disadvantage of that? You will not be able to read things faster. So the, the QR code scanner does take some time when you installation uh, when you are actually using it. And I'm going to be showing you guys how that works right now. So let's run this example. That's that's basically it. I'm going to be uh, running this or firing this example. It does say. All right, so just throwing some right error right here. So what I think is happening is that we are loading the load string and the indentation is wrongly being interpreted by the uh, KV uh, engine. So what you just need to do is just push it back to the front so that we can make sure that we are arranging all of these uh, differently later. Well, I mean, you are, you are formatting this entire thing later, but make sure that you are having this code or whatever is being the kv file or kv lang uh, string being indented right from the start or zero of intent so that's going to be the basic uh, issue here so i'm just going to quickly go ahead and show you guys how my camera is being used and that in turn loads my uh, the the application so let's run this application right now all right it's all right so it's thrown the application right here i'm going to be showing you the uh, the image or the the application so basically this is the application how, how is it going so this is the camera that's being loaded now i need to show it the qr code right so i'll just take a quick pic of the qr code i have right here my phone and i'm going to be showing you guys how that is actually reading the entire thing all right so i have the qr code in my phone right here and i'm going to be showing it to you guys or i'm going to be showing it to the camera to see if it is actually picking things up so this is recording here so you guys can see this let me show it right probably here 
all right so basically what is happening is that it's picking the text up i'm uh, actually out of frame right now but this is picking the text up and it says that symbol type qr code data health this is a sample text all right so the data is picking up properly we need to make sure that we're changing the little bit because we're going to lightly change the uh the text which is going to be reading and how do i do that so that's what you're going to find out right let's do that first of all all right, so I've closed the application. I have also reset my uh, entire thing. Now, what is happening is that in the symbol or the data that is getting coming as part of the symbol, now in turn internally has its own, uh, which is also going to be a tuple. It's going to have its own data. And we can just say symbol.data and our work is done. So basically, we're saying that just do symbol of data for every symbol that is being written, just do symbol of data. And we are now able to get it as part of a binary text. And we just can put it into the text and show it to the user. So it's going to be a very simple application right now let's run it this back again and see how that works fine all right this is going to be loaded here and the video is becoming really really small i think because of the camera orientation all right so i've suddenly become so small that's fine i'll just try to now load this entire thing up i got to now again awesome so this is definitely picking up you can see the qr code data down below and that's what exactly I was trying to do as well. So this is perfectly working fine. Let me readjust my camera because I don't have autofocus. Awesome. So that's what I wanted to show you guys. I'm so sorry because I don't have autofocus on my camera and it does keep like I need to manually focus it every single time. So hopefully this one was informative as to how you can read from a camera. So I'm actually connected to the main camera. That's why my uh, application also picking up that camera. In case you are on your phone, it's automatically going to pick up whatever going to be the main camera, which is going to be a back camera right and that's going to be very very useful for you to read or scan your qr code all right so time to wrap this entire thing up we just today looked into how to use the z bar cam to use a qr code scanner and lo uh, load the data and see how the uh, camera can read any qr code and they also even even we actually put it into a text and put into a label and show it as the part of an application so that's what that was the entire uh, use case or the agenda that we had for this video so hope this video is informative for you guys if you did find it informative of go check out the github link which is going to be the kiwi garden z bar cam and also drop a like for this video and share it with your friends if you're interested so let me meet in the next video i've got a few other things coming up uh, until then uh, it's bharat peace out have a super awesome day